Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and the cons of live aquarium plants. So I have recently taken up live aquarium plants. Um, I have done it once before and for many reasons stopped and went back to plastic. And I have recently started up again and honestly, I love it. But it took me a long time to get to the point where I was willing to try them and to a point where I liked using them. So I thought I would talk about the pros and the cons of live plants to help you guys decide whether or not you wanna take the plunge into having live plants or to keep your tank artificial. So I always like to start with the pros, so that is what I'm going to do. So the first pro is that it looks really good. There is never really a live planted tank that doesn't look good. Um, even when the plants are slightly overgrown, they still end up looking good. If you really like the look of natural tanks, then you're going to love the look of your tank with natural plants because you really can't go wrong. Now the second thing that I'm going to say is that it is cheap up front. Now what I mean by up front is when you initially go to the store and you purchase your live plants, each plant is only going to be about maybe six to ten dollars depending on the type of plant. Some plants are a little bit more, some are a little bit less. In comparison to going to the store and buying a plant, they might be fifteen to twenty dollars depending on the size. So up front it's a little bit cheaper, plus your live plants will grow so you can buy a small plant and it will soon become a large plant which of course a plastic plant or a silk plant is not going to grow. It is the size you buy is the size it's gonna stay. You only really need a few different types of plants, a couple for the background, a couple for the foreground, and as they grow and propagate, they will fill up your entire tank. Like I said, plastic or silk plants aren't going to do that. Um, your tanks will grow and they will multiply and they will get bigger and they will take over your tank. So a tank that only has a few plants will soon become a lush, live planted aquarium. Now the next pro that I'm going to say is that these plants, you don't have to clean them. Now that doesn't mean that some algae will not set on them, but you will never have to worry about taking your plant out of the aquarium, scrubbing it, um, trying to get it clean like that, because live plants generally, they don't get a lot of algae buildup on them, and if they do, it just rubs right off. Um, there's not going to be a whole deep scrubbing situation that you might have with a plastic or artificial plant of any other um, material. Now the next pro that I'm going to say are that there are some health benefits to having live plants. Um, the biggest one is that it absorbs ammonia. Ammonia is something that builds up in your aquarium over time, um, usually from uneaten food or fish waste, and it is toxic to fish. Um, obviously they're not going to absorb all the ammonia, you still have to be on top of tank changes, However, they are very beneficial into keeping your ammonia down. Another thing that they will do is they provide oxygen. Just like they provide oxygen above the water to us humans, they provide oxygen under the water to the fish. So therefore, having live plants is very beneficial to your fish and anything else living in your aquarium. Now the last pro that I'm going to say is that no matter which aquarium plant you use, they are not going to be harmful to your fish is no aquarium plant that you can choose that is going to scrape up or harm your fish's fins. Some people can use silk plants which does save this problem, but for the most part a lot of the aquarium plants on the market that are artificial are plastic and a lot of them are actually quite spiky or rough um, and they can actually harm your fish's fins. If you have a fully live planted tank you will never have to worry about your fish's fins being torn on a plant. And now that is all of the pros, so now I'm going to move on to the cons of having live aquarium plants. There is always going to be cons and there's always going to be downsides of every choice you have for your aquarium, and so of course there's going to be some cons for this as well. Now the first con is going to be that it is not an instantaneous process. Um, when you get live plants, it is going to take a long time for them to grow. Um, some plants, when you plant them, will actually melt, um, meaning that their leaves that are currently present on the plant will actually melt away. There's not going to be a visible plant there for a while. You won't see a big impact of it taking over your tank for a very, very long time. Meanwhile, of course, if you go and buy a plastic plant from the store, you go, you spend a hundred bucks and your tank is done and there's nothing more to worry about. And this kind of leads me on to my next point. 
which is the maintenance form of it. You're going to need to add nutrients. A lot of the beginner plants that you'll be gravitating to if you choose to use live plants um, will benefit from just the generic um, plant food that just has traces of lots of elements. You're going to have to add this weekly, maybe even twice a week, maybe even three times a week, depending on the instructions on your aquarium food. And also leading on the maintenance that doesn't include the nutrients is you're going to have to trim and or groom your aquarium. If your plant is growing too quickly, if your plant is taking over a little bit, some plants will grow over the top and they will actually block the light from some of your plants that are lower. Um, so you'll have to trim that. There will be that level of maintenance required. Now this is a con that you're probably wondering why I didn't mention first, and this is that they can die. <laughs> your live plants can die. You can kill them. Um, I have. <laughs> I have had live plants before, and the number one reason that I stopped using them was <laughs> they all died. I killed them all. Um, I didn't know what I was doing though, so that's my fault. I killed them, but they can die. You can spend a lot of money on plants and then they die. That's a fact. <laughs> um, I didn't mention this first because if you use proper nutrients and you take care of them properly, beginner plants, they're pretty hard to kill. Um, you, should, you should succeed with them. Now the last con that I'm going to say in regards to live plants is that you can introduce snails to your aquarium. They are notoriously known for introducing pest snails into your aquarium. Um, pest snails can be pond snails, they can be Malaysian trumpet snails, or ram's horn, I believe they are called. Once they're introduced, they're incredibly hard to get rid of. Now, this isn't like a for sure thing. Um, there's a couple things that you can do um, to get rid of them. Introducing plants is not the only way to introduce snails into your aquarium, but it is the most common way for pest snails to get into your aquarium. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that me discussing um, my pros and cons of live plants help you decide whether or not you want to try out live plants yourself or if you want to stick to using artificial plants. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are someone who is using live plants right now and you want to list any other pros and cons in the comments down below for other fish keepers to see, then make sure you do that. I'm sure it will help somebody out. Um, but that is all for today. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.